Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator with Bear Bull Traders, and this is Thor Trade. In today's session, I'm going to be talking about how to trade the pre-market. Now, trading the pre-market actually isn't very difficult at all, but there are a few parameters, not overly complicated, that you want to keep an eye on in order to make sure that you're keeping yourself safe. A couple of those things are things like level two and spread are the main things we really need to be worried about. So we'll get into that here shortly. Before we get going, the main thing you're gonna need also in these is gonna be levels. So I wanna do a little bit of a shout, shout out to our guys in the pre-market show. Carlos, Norm, they're killing it as always. And if you need levels for trading, especially in the pre-market like I'm gonna show you, you're gonna to wanna to have these levels. So make sure you go to our YouTube channel, Make sure you uh, subscribe to it, ring the bell, and as you like the video by the time you're done here, feel free to throw me a like, that'd be awesome. So, without further ado, let's move on to taking a look at how to trade in the pre-market. So when trading the pre-market, there's a couple of things, as I mentioned, you really need to be worried about, mainly levels and level two. Why are we worried about those in the pre-market? In the pre-market, we're missing something that we have during the regular trading market, which is momentum. We don't really have the same kind of volume that we would normally have as a result and without that we generically have a little bit more trouble with patterns adhering to the way that they're supposed to go to. So if you're trading utilizing patterns you're gonna have a lot of trouble trading in the pre-market because patterns often fail in the pre-market. Um, when I originally traded, I didn't trade the pre-market for probably the first year and a half of my trading career because I just could not get the hang of, of that particular time period. Now, in today's market, we seem to have a lot more volatility and with some of the, um, you know, the commission-free apps and such being able to trade pre-market now, we are seeing an increase in volume, especially on stocks and play. But otherwise, um, we generically um, don't quite get the volume that we're looking for. So on Apple, I utilized a couple of the different um, things I'm going to talk about simultaneously. One is levels and the other is level two. So the first thing I noticed on Apple was that Apple had come off a little bit yesterday and it was holding above this um, 453 level here. Now, if I pop out my five minute chart here, you go back in time, 4.53 was right around the test of this candle. So when I'm looking at the pre-market, I tend to like to go back to the prior day and look and see if there's any relevant price action that really kind of goes along with what I'm thinking. And when I came back in time around 2.53, what I noticed is we had this low volume test here before we moved back up. So I, I would think someone probably got into a position here or something like that happened, but it definitely showed um, some support. So with that in mind, you know, I, at least I had a level that this was working off of and I decided I would go ahead and and give that a look. So you can see once I had that level marked, I came back over to my um, five minute chart and all of a sudden you can notice this. Let me actually grab my one minute chart because I was using that at this point. You'll notice this. We started to have tons of wicks and body closes all right, that you can notice throughout this chart at that level all the way through pre-market. So seeing those coincide and also seeing it bottom and then it managed to, you know, pivot here and then go up and then come back down, I thought, you know, this could be a really nice area uh, to get a pre-market trade off of. So this is what I'm talking about when I say we're using levels. So if you look here, I now have this level established. So as it holds this level and comes up towards um, VWAP, I went ahead and took a long position. My stop out was going to be the loss of this lower area right here. So not too tight, but also not too loose either. No reason to let it drop all the way down to here. So with this level being this level, if it loses it and comes back under this level, I'm not going to be very happy about it. And like I said, I, I, I refined my risk basically to, you know, hold, let me put them, wow, made my clock big by accident. Let me go ahead and put a mark there for you guys. So you can kind of see where my stop loss was. There we go. So as you can see here, this was basically my my risk, right, was in at in here, stop loss was out here. So not too bad. 
consolidated here a bit and then broke up got great partials at i mean probably a six to one on my first partial um and then and then basically down to 10 20 percent of my position here and then i held on the rest was hoping apple would have a nice breakout today on some strength especially with that move but inevitably i just went all out on my remaining position good thing too apple inevitably rolled over and then look what happened at that level we had mark shortly after let me move me over here real quick so if you notice here 453 only a 10 cent stop we ended up moving all the way up to 470 so like i said about a six to one pop on that which was great and then you can see here once we lost this level we came back up through it tested it tested it one more time tested it a second time and then lost it so levels 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 this is where this really helps why i thought this could pop up we're going to go back to what i was talking about before which is the level two when i looked at the level two and i looked up near 455 which what i do is i scroll up to up level 55 and i look for it look see how there's a big order up here at, you know uh, 452 currently so i'll come up and i kind of look at those and those are the orders and those are the locations where i think the price can really go to if things really get moving so i also traded aal very similar method um you can see here let me pull my daily back out oh, my, i'll go down here as you can see here i held above this uh d previous daily level so it went up and through it came back down consolidated on it i took a long when apple popped this also popped the whole market really kind of went up jobless claims i believe came out everything got a little bit of a pop boom boom got some nice partials stopped out at break even and on to my uh my nemesis for the past couple of days rkt so i have been having just an absolute blast with rkt <laughs> Um, I'm going to pull up my five minute chart real quick. RKT yesterday IPO'd and um, I went long just above $19 with the loss of $19. Um, a really nice, perfect area. It moved up. I got partial and then it came down here and it stopped me out. I took one more long. It, it got up to got a partial and then got stopped out. And then this thing just had an absolute rip um you know and then i spent you know part of the day just fomoing on it so what were you gonna do so but i i uh, i was laughing in the chat room because i finally got my revenge um you can see here rkt was looking quite strong this morning i went long i got a partial but then i stopped out um let me get to my one minute chart so you can see that a little bit better what was going on there so you can see on my one minute ch chart rkt consolidated pushed up here um, I, I really wasn't happy with the, this put breakout, so I wanted to wait a little bit, and I wanted to see what it was going to do above this level here, um, which is like right at a, you know 2460. It got above it, held it consolidated, and made a new high, so I went long partial. And again, I played the stinking thing a little bit too tight, um, got stopped out, and then it moved without me. No FOMO. I waited. It came back down, held the 50 SMA, made a new high, so I went long, and I got and I got my revenge finally. Um, but then it came down here. I stopped out at the open because it came below that and I, I was well over goal for the day already pre-market So I didn't want to give any money back and then of course it ripped to 2660 without me. So inevitably RKT wins <laughs> I lose although I guess I made money so I didn't lose but RKT always managing just to get away from me the past ones so anyway, that is my um, my uh, video here on trading in, in the pre-market um, just a quick synopsis what I'm talking about is levels 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 and l2 um volume will help but since you don't have a lot of volume it's a lot harder to read in the pre-market so focusing on using precise levels when l2 for signals i think is often more beneficial um, but always if the stock is in play or if it has good catalyst then volume is always king so um, i hope everybody has a great day um, i appreciate your time and as always keep it green